seventh plus day here, and we have a rather special episode, and it is actually a game that came out less than 24 hours ago. Well, it's in beta, and it goes by the name of Infinity Wards, as you should be able to see right here, and developed by one of us local Australian developers. And there's Gaben right there to gratify the experience. Um, yep, I have only played this game for about an hour, so coming into it fairly new. But I'm enjoying hell out of what I've experienced. And I've done a little bit of PvP with one of the one of my friends that works there at Lightman. And he of course defeated me a thousand times over, but what are you gonna do? Anyway. The PvP isn't unlocked till you're level four anyway. So now there's campaigns kinda like your tutorial experience, they're practicing with the different types of decks and we have seven different decks right now, Warpath, Flame Dawn, Genesis Industries, Cult of Aurora, Descendants of the Dragon, Sleepers of Avarok, and the Exiles. Um, the starting deck for me was the Flame Dawn, I don't know if it'll be different for anyone else. Okay. But that's that. We're going to probably... let's try out... Genesis campaign. Uh, now we'll, we'll continue the Warpath one. We'll just do this for however many minutes. Um, I'm enjoying the soundtrack. I enjoy the voice acting, and the art style is really good. It's really simple. Backgrounds art. Oh, what did it just say? I have no idea what it just said. I'm actually going to restart this because I have no idea what it said. A lot of Warpath characters have an ability called Unstoppable. Characters will Unstoppable will gain an extra attack for each character they destroy. This is kind of like Magic 2013. This is reminding them, me the most of Magic 2013. Except you don't build your own resources. They come naturally up the top. Which is more like Might and Magic. Um, okay, so which one has Unstoppable? Unstoppable Mammoth. Just to make them fight. Oh, okay. Glee. And not really attacking until you've got this massive breeding. They're like ants, and fighting them is a bitch. Especially when the player knows what they're doing, which they usually do, because I don't. Anyway. Enough whining. Do it. Oh, sh should probably done that. Oops. Um, now. I didn't explain the winning conditions. To win, you either need to take the unit's health down to zero, which is by assaulting their base, or by taking the morale down to zero by killing a lot of their units. And different units have different morale costs, which you can see up there. See, eight? That's a massive morale cost. So, put you up there, put you up there, put you up there, go. We're gonna win this one pretty easy, it's not that hard. The actual graphic style of the cards, how it's all animated, I I really like that. It's a neat touch. Why are there two? Oh, okay. Boom. So we get the stats. Now, 
the in-game currency goes between, I believe, oh, okay, so I need a Warpath deck, <laughs> um, there are two in-game currencies down here, there's, I believe, light mare points, light points, mare points, I don't know. They're what you pay for with real life money, microtransaction base. They're, from what I've seen, they're not too bad. And then there's um, your infinity points, which you earn through doing stuff, which is the preferred currency for me. We have some. You get a bunch of these. I recommend you should get into this game as quickly as possible because. You get all these early access cards, which will probably be wiped when the game comes out, but I don't know. Okay, so we've gotten a bunch of Warpath stuff, so I can make a Warpath deck. Good. Oh boy. Assassinations, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. What's that? It looks like something from Mass Effect. Oh, it's not bad. Okay. There are, oh, there's card trading, of course, because it's a card trading game. And certain, uni certain cards cannot be traded, apparently. Jungle Giant. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Killaroo. Another Killaroo. Soldier of Fortune. I would like to see the lore behind these units. Or whether they were just thought up out of the blue. But I guess if I progress in the tutorial campaigns, I'll find out. Or rather, we will, for those of you that are watching. Um, tribal medicine, tribal medicine, wealthy noble. Good. So, we'll build a deck with that now. Change deck. That one. And up... Uh, I was actually quite confused by this at the start, but a little tooltip pops up when you start that shows you a video of how to do it all if you want. I skipped it because I'm an idiot, but... Judge me. Okay, um... Now you can drag them, or click the add, whatever. Okay, you can only have three of the type, I would guess. No? Okay. Actually, we don't want too many of these. Double-click, one and three. Because the way I figure it, if there's this thing about breeding, then we don't want units that don't specifically breed. Bunch of them in, bunch of them in, some of them. And down the bottom, it actually tells you whether your deck is legal, which means if you can use it. Which is pretty good, because there are all these new card game rules, as Mr. Game. Can you know? It's niche. Get in there. What are you? Oh, breeding grounds. That's very useful. Now. units to put there. We want one of those, one of those. Is that how much it costs? Yeah, okay. That'll be good. Well, 
actually, that's kind of useful. It tells you the Infinity Wars time and the local time, what time it is in the main Infinity Wars studio. 10.30 a.m. But, local, take 30 in Australia. Anyway, all good. Save the deck. Save it as test warpath deck. Zero, one. Very technical. Now let's get into it. Now these are little tests. Do it. Nothing. My computer is overheating. Frame rate is locked at 20 from what I've seen. That might just be because I'm running everything on the maximum. But even then I still don't see why. Because the graphics don't look like they are high end. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, they suit the graphic style a lot, but it's not like anamostropic filtering in AA. So, I'm going to have to inquire to that. Recording is at 20 frames per second, slash 15, but once again, it's a card game, it, it doesn't need a high frame rate. We're not playing a first person shooter. Uh, what do we got? Yes, yes, we need one of those. Put you up there. This is the, the dick deck, as I call it. It's useful. Put you up there to defend for the first little bit. What is that? Root labor. By Pete. Don't know how to pronounce your last name. Non-artificial. Oh, god damn it. Probably gonna lose this one. PvP, but level 4 requirement, which kinda sucks. I guess they want the people that don't suck to be in the PvP, which is fair enough. Fair enough. Means I'll never get into it. Anyway. I guess that's a wrap. That's Infinity Ward, guys. It's free on Steam.